morning folks, I'm on my way to meet with Jay. Uh, this morning is the morning that we record our weekly vlog uh, and we post them up for you. You might remember last week, uh, Jay gave me the opportunity to talk you through some portrait techniques and basically gave me the opportunity to show you what I was passionate about, uh, portrait photography and wedding photography. At the end of that, I, um, I did say to Jay, I'd like to do something next vlog that involves something of your interest. Well, having known Jay for as long as I have, one thing I know for sure is he is a very resourceful man. So, um, I get a phone call last night, he says, uh, Rich, what we'll do for our vlog today, he says, um, I'm going to take you to photograph some of the world's most famous automobiles. Well, I tell you what, I was so excited, I said, absolutely Jay, I said, lock it in, I said, I'll be there. And I said, well, where are we going, what are we doing? I mean, he sort of pretty much at that point said, look, um, just grab your, your gear, grab your camera, uh, join me at my place tomorrow, we'll go from there. So my wheels have been spinning. Um, gosh, you know, we, we are on the Sunshine Coast, and I know that the uh, this weekend we have the Noosa Hill Climb, so I'm thinking maybe Jay might take me along to the Noosa Hill Climb, and in case I get to do a hot lap, <laughs> I've brought my helmet along, I'm coming prepared, I've dressed appropriately. Um, we also have the Bowden's Race Car Collection here on the Sunshine Coast. Uh, being as resourceful as Jay is, we just might end up there, who knows? Uh, or in fact, uh, I'm thinking Clive Palmer at the Palmer Resort. Also a notable car collection there. So Joe, folks, uh, stay tuned. We're gonna go and uh, just see exactly what Jay's got in uh, store for us today. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's gonna be very exciting. Come on, let's go. Uh, yes, could I have two Maasai cappuccinos with two sugars in each, please? No problem. Anything else? Uh, that's a lot today. No worries. Can't this is Thank you. Just a quick pit stop on the way to Zarafas. Uh, folks, when your best mate says, I'm going to take you to photograph some of the world's most famous cars, just a quick tip here. Um, you should stop and get him a coffee on the way. All right. Won't be long now, folks. Well, while we're here, oh look, there's Jay's little Cortina in the driveway there. Well, there's Jay. <laughs> G'day. Good morning, mate. Good morning, how are you, mate? Oh, I'm ready. Good to see ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what's the plan? We're here, you've taken us to photograph some of the world's most collectible cars. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Well, here's your coffee. Oh. I, did the, I did the riding, mate. Cheers. All right, let's get inside and let's have a look, see what's going to happen. All right, mate. Okay, well I've got all my kit, i got my helmet, <laughs> alright let's go. Oh I love this car mate. This yeah, is your pride and girl. joy, pride yeah. and joy. 65, Lotus Cortina. You're lovely mate. Yeah. Car I lusted after when I was young. Yeah, well and why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful, have a look at that. <laughs> alright take us inside mate, what do you got in store for us today? Oh, I've got a few Ferraris and... Uh, Ferraris? Clippable screw cars. <laughs> oh, hey, have a look at this. I told you it was resourceful, did I tell you that? <laughs> well, and here's our setup. have a look at this. Yeah. Yeah, this is my little studio. Lovely. What I do in my garage and do some macro work in here and, uh, yeah, just muck around experimenting with lights and... Water drops, all sorts of things in here. It's good oh, fun. Oh, mate. <laughs> all right, let's put those coffees down. Let's get into it. Yeah. Okay, so just out here, I'll take you chair. This is my Cortina, my Lotus Cortina, a 1965 model. It's a car I always dreamt of owning. I remember watching old videos of Jim Clark banging one of these around Nürburgring and so forth, winning just about everything up against the big V8 Galaxy and so forth. Always wanted to own one. And Cortina's been my passion. I ultimately indulged in one, but it's something that I'll keep and own forever, basically. Um, but as what happens when you buy things like this, I'd like to buy more classic cars, Ferraris and old race cars, whatever you like, but I couldn't do that. So what I did was indulged in a collection of model, scale model cars. Um, if you can see through there, I might open this glass up. 
Initially, you can see some of my passion there, old um, Australian touring cars from the 70s and 80s. Uh, a few more Cortina models down underneath there, so um, a popular car for a long, long time. What a great collection, mate. <laughs> I've got lots of Cortina models, about 60 of them, I think. But these are all, um, yeah, old, yeah, classic cars, Ferraris, Bugattis, Audi hill climbs, so forth. And then, of course, the next one down, I've got a collection of Peter Brock's cars. Nice. Uh, you know, I've met Peter Brock quite a few times and uh, to own you know, models of his cars, it's great. Some more Brocky cars. Down there's a few more Cortinas. And then on the left there is a couple of Brad Jones's touring cars from the 2000s, 2010 or something like that. Michael Schumacher Ferrari. Mate, this is fantastic. Yeah, we have a quick look over here. I've got a whole collection of small 43rd scale Cortinas. <laughs> Tell I love Cortinas. As a, the picture up above is my other GT that's out in the back shed. Wow. When I used to race it. Mate, this is terrific. Yeah. I'm loving this. All right. And what have you chose anyway, for us I to do, have a look at? Well, I put a photo up. Um, on my Instagram just this week of uh, the two Moffat and Bond cars that finished one and two at Bathurst in yes. 1977. Very famous pair of cars. Um, so, th those... so this is the, the famous automobiles that we're going to photograph? <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, yeah. I'm loving that. I'm loving that <laughs> idea. Um, you mentioned the, the Bowden's own collection in Budrum. They actually have the Colin Bond car in their collection. This one there, I've seen it many times. Beautiful car. Look at the detail in these models. Uh, what are we going to, how are we going to photograph them? All right. Um, well, as well, what I thought I'd do is replicate the photo that I put up on Instagram. What I did with this, these two cars is I put them on a piece of black Perspex, which I have underneath here, um, and that works great for reflections. I shoot down nice and low, get a full reflection of the car underneath. But what I did was actually photograph the number one car first and then swapped it over with the number two car in the exact same position. Right. Line the tyres up, the riding and everything like that. And then after I took the two photos, I put them on Photoshop and swapped out the reflection. So the reflection of number one was the number two, two car. car. Right, so right. it's kind of, I don't know, fitting, I guess, being the cars finished one to a Bathurst. So, yeah, oh, um, I love it. All right, yeah, right yeah. let's hop into it. So I thought I'd set it up and do that. Awesome, awesome. All right, so what, I'm, what I've set up here is I've got my black Perspex, which is really good for sharp reflections. Uh, a lot of they use it for like jewellery photographs or product photography. Get those really sharp, crisp reflections. Um, I've set up the black backdrop. I've set the car up just right at the very far distance so that you know it can just blend into the background. Um, now you can see through seeing my camera here. I'll probably bring that Osmo around. You can already see how sharp that reflection is. Oh, That's yeah. just with the, the light on up there. So I'm just going to use the flash. We've got it set up in a softbox here. I'm not going to flash it, just bounce it off the ceiling, which I'll set up for the moment. Do that. And so we don't. I don't like any light shining on the cars because they are fairly reflective and you do get you know, shiny hot spots on the cars. So I've softened it right up in the softbox, right. bounce it off the white ceiling down. Right. Hopefully, I won't get any shiny hot spots. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in on, the, on my shot. Find some nice writing there, like on that above the door there, Hardy Frodo, and adjust the focus. Just so it's nice and sharp. Drop that back then, so I know that that's locked on that focus point. What I'm going to do is take a photo of this number one car, and I'll just frame it up a little bit better in the centre. That's a great tip, isn't it? Using the um, the the magnifying feature of your camera to get in nice yeah. and close when you're using those yeah. macro lenses. Yeah, we'll turn this flash on too, focus. really. Okay, so we're all focused in. So what I'm going to do is yeah, take a photo of this this number one car, and I've taken the time to just line up the the Goodyear on the bottom of the tyres, so that's equally down the bottom, close enough. And when I swap the other car out, I'll do the same, line that up so the reflections match up. So I'll do this. I'll turn that light off. That's nice and dark. Just. So we're all ready to go, we'll take that shot. 
off she goes bang okay wow so we've got um yeah nice sharp photo reflection a little bit duller you don't want it to be as equally as bright mm. if, if i no, sure yeah so it does actually look like a reflection all right so what i'll do now is i'll swap that car out i'll get the number two car so this is just a 50 mil lens you're using, Just Jay? 50 mil, yeah. 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 So I'll line those tyres up roughly. Line them up in the same place. I'll read that one. Got that back there. Just make sure the tyres are roughly in the same place where we want them. Right, it doesn't have to be deadly accurate, this, because um, I'm going to... I can adjust where the reflection is anyway relative to the real car. Yep. So I'll take this one so that's all set up. And bang, there we go. So there's our two shots. Lovely. One there and one there. So we're pretty close. A little, little bit out, probably number one's a bit full forward, but uh, it'll give us the result we want. So what I want to do is just quickly throw it on the computer and yeah, put that light back on. Uh, I see there's a couple of bottles of wine next to the computer there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's late at night. Late, late <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually doing a, uh, yeah, but doing the same thing, photographing the bottles of wine with a half, half a glass of wine there and uh, on those reflections. Uh, I love reflections. They, um, that looks like more than half a glass oh, today. Well, but <laughs> some of it spilled. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. All right, so there's uh, yeah, car number one and car number two. All right, so what I'll do is uh, just make a few few adjustments to that. I'll drop the clarity back. I tend to I tend to usually add clarity onto things, landscapes and so forth. But um, I treat this like a bit of a portrait. I think you don't want to show any. They're only scale models, so they do have imperfections compared to you know the real car. Well, yeah. the real cars do too. But drop that clarity back just to soften that shot a little bit. Add a little bit of colour saturation onto that raw file. You can see the background behind there, so I'll just pull the blacks back a little bit oh, just to imagine. black that out. Isn't that a great little trick? Yeah. And then I'll probably uh, just give it a little bit of a crop. Locked in. Yeah, something like that. Get it nice and central. Center. And then I'll just click on this one and do previous. So it'll do the same. So there's our two shots, all adjusted. I'll select both of them. You mm -hmm. just send them into Photoshop as a layer. And what I'm going to do once this opens up in Photoshop is, uh, I'll basically just erase the number one car and expose the number two so car in the bottom layer. Mm -hmm. so, so what's your method there is to just overlay them and then erase the top layer? Yeah, so, it, yeah? so I'm opening them in Photoshop as layer, so there's the first one, it's just taking a minute. Uh, no. So there's two, our uh, two layers, one and two. So I have number one on the top layer, number two on the bottom yeah, layer. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is operate on the number one layer, the top layer, and a little eraser tool, which I think is this one. Eraser tool, bring my brush up, and just, you can see it. Oh yes, yeah. Out. Isn't that magic? Look at that. Very easy. You'll have right. a screen record on there to show that in yeah. better detail, yeah. I guess. That's right. So there we go. There's uh, number two exposed. And then I'll just go image uh, layer flatten. On that. File save. That'll take me back into Lightroom. If I reopen Lightroom. Here it is, there's the really? loads. There's number one and number two. All right, so that's just a quick way to show you how to you know, take those wonderful reflection shots on the Perspex and 
some simple adjustments to swap that reflection over. I've done it with several different types of cars, you know, Formula One cars, like one model and next year's model. There's lots of things you can do with it. But I particularly like this one being that one-two finish with the Bathurst cars. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I'd love to see us if you've got any questions, like things you want us to do in our vlog. We always you know, want to try different things, go different places. So if you've got some idea that you might suggest to us that we could try it for you and show you how to you know, take the photos and edit them or whatever you like, we're all for that. So please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Oh well, that was absolutely fantastic, mate. Thanks yeah. for joining. Uh, thanks for sharing. No All right. And uh, yeah, any ideas? Leave them in the uh, comments below, and we'll um, we'll source it out. Yeah. Great. Thanks, folks. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Bye.